Hey, today we're going to look at simple linear regression in MathCAD. So you've got a data sheet, uh, you've got a series of data points, and you want to plot those data points, but also give the regression line, and I'm assuming a linear regression, and it uses a, you know, a, a least squares uh, methodology for determining it. And, and so I've got the sheet set up here. Uh, so I have my data being read in. So it exists within an Excel spreadsheet, which is fairly common. And so I'm using the Read Excel. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, I do have a, a link to a video that teaches you how to integrate Excel into your worksheet. So uh, it'll be in the description down below or maybe a tag up here. And, uh, you know, have a look at that and see if uh, that's useful to you. Uh, so this is the array of the data that comes in. So just a series of XY points. And so now let's get into uh, dealing with this. So I've already got a structure laid out. So we're basically going to step through that structure. So the first thing we have to do is we have to come up with two different arrays of our X and our Y coordinates. And, and so I'm just going to set that up and say X is equal to, and we're going to draw it from the data array. But in this case, we're going to matrices and tables and go up to our operations and this is our matrix column. So we're going to choose one of the columns. And in this case, I'm going to choose the first column. Now note, I do have my origin set to one. It's my preferred way of working. Uh, and so this becomes the first column, not the zero column, which it would be by default. And then I'm going to assign my Y coordinates again to data, come up, pick up our column operation, and in this case, it's going to be column two. So now we have two arrays. Now, because I've already set up my, my plot uh, to plot X versus Y, you see the data uh, is now plotted down here. So to get the regression line, uh, there is a function called line within MathCAD, and we're going to use it. So it returns an array of the uh, fundamental parameters. So you get your intercept and your slope and you get them in that order. Now, I, I did check the help file and everything else. So it, to try to identify, well, which one's the slope, which one's the intercept. Uh, and it wasn't in there, but trust me, uh, it's B and then M. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my own array just for the two parameters. And so I want them assigned to B and M go outside, set that equal to, and we're going to use the line function. So where do you find it if you don't know that it exists? Go up to functions, choose functions, and it's in the curve fitting and smoothing. And if we go down here, we see line. Of course, you can hit F1, bring up the help. If you need some help with it, it gives you a quick help here. And just so you know, I'll also show you the slope and the intercept uh, up here, intercept. I'll also show you those because they're associated with it. So let's use the line. We'll just choose it here. And it asks for two parameters, which are the X and the Y data points, which is why we parse them out into two individual arrays. And then we set it and we hit equals and it gives us our two values. Okay, so as I told you, that is your B and your M in that order. Uh, you can also do them individually if you so choose. So slope uh, x comma y, set that equals, and you see we get the 1.99 out. Or we could do intercept, again, x comma y, side hit equals, and we can get those two values in that form as well. So a couple different ways you can do it. Uh, this is nice and compact and easy to go. So now what I want to do is I just want to set up a function so that I can plot it with my data points. And in this case, I'm just going to call it f of x. And I have set this up purposely that I can use standard equation of a line, step out. And because I've already set up my uh, plot, you see that it's now inserted that function of the line. So with that plot, I, I was fiddling there. I was showing it was showing an error with the Y. Uh, obviously, there was no error because it was plotting it. I just retyped it, uh, managed to make it go away. Not sure what was going on there. Uh, but you notice that I have chosen X uh, as the variable for F at X. Uh, and that just saves me from setting up a range variable over which to, to plot uh, 
uh, f at x. So that's just a, a quick way to plot it over the so same domain as your data points. And that's it. Simple linear regression. So easy use of the line function. Alternatively, the slope and intercept, throw it into an equation. You can plot it with your data points and away you go. So hopefully that was useful and uh, we'll have to look at some more of the data manipulation uh, as we move on. Uh, thanks very much.